My name is Stacia Mack. I am mother to recording artist Polo G. I'm a mom, I'm a mogul, and I am the creator of I Birth Legends podcast. My podcast, I Birth Legends, is a community where we celebrate the matriarchs who have and will shape the greats of our times. These greats are not limited to athletes, artists, politicians, you name it, lawmakers, people who have an impact on society at large today. I created I Birth Legends podcast because I felt like so many times people look at the celebrity and they would like to know the backstory, who created them, what were the sticks and bricks and the fundamentals that they got and their development. And I feel that so many times we don't have a platform that celebrates those who helped and sometimes sacrificed the most to get someone where they are today. I started managing my son by accident, if you will, because initially I was inside of the real estate field and in being inside of real estate, he was rapping and I didn't really know that I looked at it as a hobby and not so much as his profession. On prom, he told me that he would no longer go to college <laughs> and that he wanted to be a rapper. I was absolutely stunned and floored because I wanted him to be an attorney, a state's attorney actually. And I wanted him to help people. And I said, okay, well, if you're not going to do that, you're going to get a year, no more, no less to become a rapper and to make it happen. And it happened in less than a year. Six months later, he was signed. What I encounter the most is children who are free spirited and stubborn. A lot of times I can give them, my mom says is, uh, I'm gonna say it and leave it there. So I give them everything that they need to be successful. I have, I give them everything to make an informed decision and I leave it. But when you're dealing with children who have their own set of thoughts, their own thought process, it's really hard um, wrangling them back in. Being a woman in the music industry is difficult and a triple threat, if you will, because I'm a woman in a male dominated industry. I'm a black woman in a male dominated industry. And then the cherry on top is that I'm a mother. And a lot of times mothers get bum reps. It's like uh, when you say mom or momager, it's a negative connotation. It's a negative connotation because it, it says uh, that you're not as well versed in the field, that you're not as educated and that you're inexperienced. But when it comes down to it, if I had to bet on someone who would have my back, who would make decisions for me, that I was successful, I would always make that be my mother. I would bet on any woman and I would especially bet on my mother. My management company, uh, Only Dreamers Achieve, was just like the podcast created when we were a part of the working class. I always told my children that they would be successful and they had to walk, talk, and move differently. And in doing so, I say, you know, I'm going to start this brand, I Birth Legends, because you all will be successful and you are God's promise to my womb for success. And they're like, well, mom, everybody feels that way about their kids. And I'm like, everybody can feel that way, but I know <laughs> it to be true for, you know, you guys. So I created I Birth Legends and that brand and my son came to me and he said, well, let's do ODA management and ODA stands for only dreamers achieve because a lot of times our children are told not what they can be, but what they can't be. So I look with ODA, we manage talents and those talents are artists. They are makeup artists, uh, musicians, they are photographers, influencers, and we help them to navigate the industry so that they have the resources of our company and they're not left unawares or in bad deals. I see myself taking over. I want to have a one-stop shop. We already have a record label. We're building out a production company. When you hear only Dreamers Achieve or I Birth Legends, then you'll know that it's a one-stop shop for all things that are the entertainment industry. For mothers, if your child has a dream, it is your duty as a mother to throw your time, your resources, your encouragement and speak life into your children. The world already is a cold place. They should have refuge in you. You should build them up with your words and you should give them life. I never tell my children what they can't do. If life throws a curveball, I tell them, okay, well you pivot, you never stop, you fall. If you go through hell, you're gonna stop and burn. No, you keep on going till you find that exit. And as a parent, we need to encourage our children more to to follow their dreams. I am Stacia Mack and you can find me on Instagram Stacia.Mac, Twitter Stacia.Mac, Facebook Stacia.Mac, <laughs> and iBirth Legends.